CHD Local Lifestyles continues. Some fun in Newburgh. The fire department hosts a Riverside event at the end of this month. First Assistant Chief Nick Donnan is here to tell us more about it. It's good to see you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for waiting. You know, when you get to be the last guest, you have to wait and watch all the other people be interviewed. Oh, it's no problem. It's so fun watching everybody. Took the pressure off a little bit yeah. anyway. Well, let's talk about this event because it's the first time ever. This is the first time. Um, it's not a fire department hosted event, though. It's uh, in partnership with Newburgh Police and Newburgh Fire. Okay. So, you know, every day we work hand-in-hand -hand together. Sure we kind of are doing the same thing with this event. Uh, we've been talking about it for a few years. Police Chief Eric Mitchell and myself have been looking to do something along the lines of this in place of the yearly law enforcement campaign of National Night Out. I'm sure everybody's heard about it. Right, they go on right. all over. Right. Problem in Newburgh is we've had two at the same time. Every first Tuesday of August, there's been two National Nights Out. So the community kind of gets split and divided. So we've been talking about doing a similar thing at a different time and trying to get the community something to do, something to be involved with. So we came up with this evening on the Ohio, calling it the Berg, based off of uh, some historic Newburgh Incorporated things that they do. Uh, a lot of it revolve around the Berg and using that. So we kind of implemented that into the name of our event. But it's similar to National Night Out as to... Uh, we're going to have different agencies out there, both public safety and not so much. People's Bank is one of our sponsors. Uh, it was, you know, partially their idea for us to, to have this event as well. Uh, the Red Cross is going to be there. Uh, Play for Kate. Uh, I'm yeah, sure everybody. Kate Schmidt. Yes, yep, she's been on the show many Everybody's definitely uh, uh, known about that. Yes. Uh, I believe uh, Life Flight or Stat Flight. I'm sorry, Life Flight's no more around here. But Stat Flight, I believe, is in the process of being worked on to actually land a helicopter there. So people get to see that. Hopefully it'll be cool. It's a Saturday afternoon down at the river. Um, there'll be music via the radio stations. Towards the, at the end of our event, at ours will end at 6 o'clock. It's from 3 to 6 on September the 29th. The Historic Newburgh has an event that they also have been doing throughout the summertime on the riverfront, which they do family movies. Now, I'm not sure if they are doing, if they have had live music every, every time they have the movies, but this month they are. So there's going to be live music playing at 6.30, so there's going to be some type of a band there playing. So it's just going to be kind of a whole day. It, it is. A fun that, there. that picture that you keep showing of the riverfront, you just go about five miles to the east, and it, it's going to be just a mini party pretty much all afternoon. So where, does, where will you be? We yeah. will be located at um, the old Lockmaster's Cottage, around the same area mm -hmm. where they set the fireworks off in Newburgh right. every year. So it's all going to be right there in that area. Uh, it's going to be a fun time. There's going to be no cost of any sort. That was one of the big things we pushed. Everything that's there, whether it be uh, handouts or, or prizes of any sort, food, nothing's going to cost the community. It's just going to be something safe where people can come down, kind of all get involved, um, you know, especially in public safety. You know, all the scrutiny and stuff law enforcement goes under. It's great to be able to get the community to come out, meet their law enforcement officers. We also want them to meet the firefighters. So they don't have any fear. They know who's there to help them. So and that just builds your community. And it, as you say, in these, these trying times when there's so much focus on our law enforcement, it's a good time just to get yeah, to look people the, square in the eye and have a conversation, isn't it? Absolutely. Relationships are so important in community building. You know, um, with the, the police departments, even the ambulance and the, the fire departments, it's important to know who's there for you when you need them. So um, I definitely encourage everybody to come out. We're going to have some, some basic games, nothing fancy. Um, you know, one of the big backyard games around is cornhole. So Gotta we're, have a cornhole. We're, we're definitely going to yeah. have have some cornhole boards out there. I know we're uh, we're going to have some some food items and drinks for people, so everybody will be able to you know uh, fill up their stomachs a little bit. By no means we're going to have a full course meal or anything, <laughs> but you know stuff to snack on. We're going to have some inflatables uh, that are conducive to all ages. So it's going to be a good time. We're we're looking forward to it. Sounds we don't like know how big or little it's going to be, but. You know, our main goal is when they leave this year, they're looking forward to next year because we do want to keep it going every year. Sounds great, Nick. Thank you so much. So big time in Newburgh on the riverfront the 29th of September, September right? September 29th, 3 to 6. Fun for the whole family. Thanks. Thanks. We'll come back with the final check of weather with Joe Bird right after this.